welcome to itsp so now this is the part fourth core java this is our channel itsp third part is com completed declaration and construction initialization of array so now today's first so again i want to say you thank you and welcome to itsp so up to this we have completed literals we completed what are the literals in java integral floating point boolean character in a string and some respective is there also some underscore kind of thing binary literals and array and the last session we have discussed about the arrays so arrays is nothing but homogeneous data you can store inside the array if you have a multiple value to store in the single variable then go for the array so how you can declare array we have seen like int a and dimension and uh, variable name equals to uh, sorry and a semicolon this is the declaration single dimensional and two dimensional three dimensional uh, these three types of array we have seen in the last video uh go and check this video all these things in detail here i have explained and array construction also we have declared how to create the array object by using new keywords okay and how and fifth point i have discussed is the very important point is the is that array declaration construction initialization in a single line how to declare array how to construct array and how to initialize array in a single line using the curly braces so and length versus length method so length is the variable it belongs to the array if you want to find the length of array then use uh, array dot length like and if you go to the string length then if you want find the length of a string suppose in the my name is vivek if you want to length of my string my name is strings and you can find string s dot length then you will get the five numbers of character is there in the five so this is the we have discussed an anonymous array anonymous array is nothing but what is that nameless array so not required to pass uh, go and check in this video description right now the, we have other topics and array element assignment how to assign the array element like we have a zero position how to initialize and first position how to initialize like that okay and array variable assignment also how to assign the element into the variable we have seen it okay so now let's go with our today's agenda so last topic is our we have seen this one is this also diagram also we have discussed mm -hmm. okay when we get negative array when you pass the negative value inside the array array declaration inside the array declaration if you pass the negative value and out of memory passing the size out of size two dimensional array how to use it okay okay so the here you can see anonymous array example so i have here this is the anonymous array declaration like that we can declare but this is expecting like expecting invalid why because it's invalid why because it's invalid if you declaring like that anonymous array you don't want you not not required to pass size of that array here like that you can use it size is not required to pass like that valid okay so now here is the anonymous array you can pass like that perfect this is the array element assignment right assigned to the element into the array right that now we have assigned to the variable also we have uh, 
वेरिएबल असाइनमेंट फॉर एग्जाम्पल टू लाइक दैट वी हैव एरे वेरिएबल असाइनमेंट लाइक दिस एलिमेंट लेवल प्रमोशन आर नॉट अप्लीकेबल एट एरे ऑब्जेक्ट लेवल एग्जाम्पल ए कैर वैल्यू कैन बी प्रमोटेड इन टू इन टाइप बट कैर एरे कैन नॉट बी प्रमोटेड इन इन एरे राइट कैर इज प्रमोटेड टू इन टाइप बट नॉट कैर एरे कैन नॉट बी इन एरे सपोज वी हैव दिस इन टाइक्स टू टेन ट्वेंटी एंड कैर सिक्स A can initialize with the B, right? But CH cannot initialize with the C. This is the error. Okay. So now these all things I have discussed. Go through this video, third video, then you can get clarity about this how to. <clears throat> so now go today's topic like data types, not data types. What is that topic? This is the examples. Hmm. Type of variables. Yeah. Perfect. So now type of variables. Type of variable. Def, def, definition is based on the type of value represented by a variable all variable are divided into two types there are primitive variable and reference variable okay what is the primitive variable just check it out so Primitive variable can be used to represent primitive values. What is the primitive value? Like that. Int x equals to 10. X int equals to 10 is the primitive value. Okay. So now this is the example for fact. Now what is the reference variable? Reference variable can use to refer an object. Can refer an object. Here is the value. No? In the primitive variable in the primitive value we represent represent primitive values and here is we use to refer object hmm? object perfect now example example like this example student yes it equals to new student this is the object reference Yes is the object reference of S yes class. This is the object of object of a student and is yes is the reference variable of that diagram here also you can see. Yes, this is the object, right? And this is the S yes variable and pointing to this object, right? I think it's clear. So now we will discuss primitive value, primitive variables and how many types of variables in Java? Two types. First is the primitive, second is the reference variable. And primitive value is nothing but represent a value. Primitive variables is nothing but represent a primitive value like int x equals to 10. It's the primitive. And if you were reference variable, reference variable uh, refers to the object. Using suppose we have a student like employee class employee equals to new employee so employee e, e is the reference variable of employee object this is the employee class object right up to this is clear now next is come here definition two division two is based on based on based on the behavior and position of declaration 
आर वेरिएबल डिवाइडेड इनटू थ्री पार्ट्स देखो क्या बोला बेस्ड ऑन द बिहेवियर एंड पोजीशन ऑफ डिक्लेरेशन बोला है कि उसका बिहेवियर कैसा है और वो कहां पे डिक्लेयर किया गया उस टाइप से थ्री टाइप के होते हैं वेरिएबल्स आल्सो फर्स्ट इज द इंस्टेंस वेरिएबल लोकल वेरिएबल एंड स्टैटिक वेरिएबल राइट we have three variables also first is the instance variable static variable and local variable okay go in the instance variable right so what is the instance variable let's see if the value of variable is varied from object to object what is that object to over such type of variable are called instance variable what is that if value of variables किसी वेरिएबल की वैल्यू पाइप वेरिड फ्रॉम ऑब्जेक्ट टू ऑब्जेक्ट ऑब्जेक्ट टू ऑब्जेक्ट वेरी करती है मतलब एक ऑब्जेक्ट से दूसरे ऑब्जेक्ट में दूसरे से तीसरे ऑब्जेक्ट में देन सच टाइप ऑफ वेरिएबल आज कल इंस्टांस वेरिएबल राइट इंस्टांस वेरिएबल फॉर एवरी ऑब्जेक्ट नो नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इज For every object, separate copy of instance variable will be created. Okay, well, for every object, a separate copy of instance variable will be created. हर एक ऑब्जेक्ट की एक सेपरेट कॉपी इंस्टांस क्रिएट होता है ठीक है वेरिएबल विल बी क्रिएटेड नॉ नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इज Instance variable will be created at the time of object creation and destroyed at the time of object destruction. Hence, the scope instance variable is exactly same as scope of object. When the instance variable will be created at the time of creating the object. Suppose if you have a class student, student T. Equals to new student, right? So at the time of creating object of T class, that time only instance variable will be created. Not the calling, not the other thing. It's the time of creating a object, right? The next point is. And at the time of oh, variable destroy at the time of uh, object scope. Okay. Instance variable will be stored in the heap as part of object. Kaha pe he store hota heap memory. Mein. In the jab JBM padenge na apan. Jab JBM padenge. Then we will discuss JBM. Five type ki memory hote hai. Heap, stack, uh, stack heap stake memory and many more i forgot it but three memories are also there five type of memory okay so kaha pe store hota hai instance variable will store inside the inside the on the heap as part of object is ke part of it now next point instance variable should be declared Within the class directly, instance variable कहाँ declare होता है? Within the class, but outside of any method or block or constructor. But outside of any method or block or constructor, like here. अगर suppose we have a one class, like class test, okay? Here we can declare one int i okay string yes like that. This is the instance variable, right? This is the class level. Okay. Here we here uh, instance variables should be declared within the class directly within the class within the class directly. कर सकते हैं instance variable और uh, method के अंदर but outside of any method outside of any method our block or constructor 
inside the method we cannot say this is the instance uh, instance web variable no inside the block also you cannot say inside the block also you cannot say inside the block also you cannot say this is the instance variable okay inside the method m1 you cannot say this is the instance variable and in, inside the constructor also you cannot declare the instance so if you declare inside the constructor any variable this is not instance variable is strictly you can speak that front of interviewer so now next point is instance variable can be accessed directly from instance area where from get instance area okay what cannot be accessed directly from static area instance variable we can access from directly in the stat instance area instance area but non static area okay in the memory right okay no but by using object reference we can access instance variable from static area what is that we have instance variable inside the static area inside the static area right by using t class t reference you can access instance variable inside the static area right so now to this is clear what is this point first point is uh, instance variable varied from object to object then you can say this is the static instance variable separate copy will be generated and it will be created right instance separate copy instance variable when it will create at the time of constructor calling at the time of object creation okay and instance variable is stored inside the where in the heap as part of the object instance variable should be declared as part of class but not inside the method block and constructors instance variable can access directly from the instance area but not from the static area but by using but by using reference variable of a particular class you can access that static area so now next point is this is our example here you can see uh, which i have point i have i have uh, discussed with you this is the instance right int instance variable right within the class right within the class this is this is the main method in java right if you want to print like that system dot out dot print this is the static area right this is the static area we cannot access here this variable if you trying to access then this variable giving compile time error getting the reference from the static right but by using class reference by using class reference create a class and system dot out dot t dot i then this is perfect then using t dot method one you can call this method here also then void come here valid ten out this is the outside of the this is not a static area right this is not a static area perfectly so now just i am opening the id so i will show the practical parallelly <laughs> perfect so now i think this example is clear to you guys So now, for this instance variable, it is not required to perform initialization. JVM will always provide the default value. Initialization is not required here for the instance variable. If you not provide, it will assign a zero. I will show the, the example. Now here, the you can take here boolean. We initialize any value to this boolean not now if you access this variable then you will get the false false boolean default value is false boolean 
डिफॉल्ट वैल्यू इज फॉल्स राइट एंड दिस पॉइंट इज इंपॉर्टेंट लेट्स सी आईडी इज ओपनिंग और नॉट लॉन्च नॉट माइक्रो सर्विसेज फंडामेंटल जा ID is opening. Wait some time. Okay. No, just increasing the size of journal appearance, color and font, basic, go down, text font, just add it, is clearly bold, is bold required, 12 is 14, oh, I think it's good, apply, apply and close, now it's perfect, <clears throat> okay. Now up to the size is good. Minimize this. Then create one class. It's Hersey. Inside this. Class name is. Uh, which class? Uh, testing. Instance variable. Next. Uh, in the literals. The class we can declare like. In the class name. We cannot start with that. Numbers instance test right with the main method if you declare as a select here main method then it will create a main method like this right now so here we declare one variable like int i equals to 10 any value if you try to access like sys out sys out print i here you can see giving a compile time error cannot make a static reference to the non-static field. This is the non-static field, but this is the static area. If you declare this variable as static, then you can, this error is resolved, but this is not our topic right now. Okay. So now go here. This is the error. Comment this one and just create the instance class reference variable stance test it equals to new instance test. Perfect. Now this out and it dot of i. Now let's see what is that output of this method. Uh, Java application and it. now here you can get 10 right suppose one more method I am declaring public wide uh, call instance very well okay no S out, here is the out is S, this out, right? This out, mm -hmm -hmm. call that I. Here, not getting any errors. And call this method call in a star. IT dot call in star. Perfect. Here you are calling. So now here you get two times 10. Perfectly. If you calling like that, to be calling. I think error because why? Because this is the static, non static area. Here you can get it. What is that? Here my point is, my point is, you can see this is the static variable, right? Static, non, right? This is the static area static area area and this is also non-static 
non static non static so what is the conclusion right now non static area you cannot access inside that static area by using reference of that class using inside that static area you can access instance variable right like this so i think it's up to this clear so now next is next is here you can call it dot read right and if you declare like boolean i don't want to boolean b cut control s save it then if you print this then this out this out and it dot v now what is that output what is that output false we get false if you declare as a true you can do true the output is perfect perfectly so now these are two example we have completed so now next is our some points also is there instance variable also known as object level variable or attribute what is that you can also say if anyone asks object level variable so you can say single word you can say instance variable is the object level variable because by using object creating by using object you can access instance variable right directly you can access inside the instance area not outside of the area right <laughs> now static variable can the static variables here is some point guys if the value of variable is not varied from object to our object this is the very very important and very very tough topic inside that java static variable so there is that object to object value vary ho rahi thi yahan pe kya bol raha hai object value is not varied from object to object it's static static right such type of variable are called static variable it is not recommended to declare instance variable we have to declare such type of variable at class level by using static keyword we have one suggestion also we cannot declare class level as a instance variable right we should declare as a static variable it's not varied from object to object variable is not varied from the object to object one variable cannot varied from one object it's one variable it's stuck with the one object right this is the meaning in this case instance variable for every object is every object the separate copy will be created a instance variable for every object the separate copy will be created but but in case of static variable entire class only one copy will be created what is that meaning only one copy will create a static variable if you go with the instance variable separate copy will create for the every object samajh raha dekho here yahan pe kya hua ye instance variable hai na instance variable is har object jitni bar instance object create karoge na har bar iski copy create hogi but agar static variable hota na ye agar if we have this static variable then for every instance if you create n number of instance then same copy will be there it will not create another right i will show the example don't worry so Shared the every object of that class. Shared that every shared by the every object of that class. Perfect. A static variable will be created at the time of class loading. 
destroy at the time of class unloading. Hence, the scope of static variable exactly same as scope of that dot class file. Same as dot class file. Now, next point is a static variable will be destroyed in method area. Sorry, stored in where? An instance variable is stored in where? Instance variable is stored in heap. Right? Static is stored in method area. Right? Right. Perfect. So now, static variables should be declared within the class directly, but outside of any method or block or constructor. Right? Static. Static variable can be accessed from both instance and static area directly. Abhi kya tha? Instance variable you cannot access inside the static area. Okay. But inside the static variable, if you declare a static variable, so you can access inside the instance area, instance and inside the static area. Both area you can access. Like instance area is nothing but without the static keyword. That area is instance area. Like method. Here is the method. Method is. Uh -huh. right. This is the method. This is the instance area. If you declare. These are static variable. Static int. So you can easily access here. By using instance also with this also perfect and now come now okay so now next point is our next point is but then we can access static variable either by using class name or by using object reference. But by using recommended is class name. Wait. But within the same class, it is not required to use class name. We access directly. Humne kya dekha instance variable mein? ठीक है इंस्टेंस वेरिएबल क्या करता है वेरी होता है ऑब्जेक्ट टू ऑब्जेक्ट ओके बट स्टैटिक वेरिएबल इज नॉट वेरीड फ्रॉम ऑब्जेक्ट टू ऑब्जेक्ट राइट एंड ये डिक्लेअर होता है कहां पे क्लास लेवल्स ओके बाय और यूज होता है वन स्पेशल कीवर्ड कीवर्ड इज नथिंग बट स्टैटिक स्टैटिक कीवर्ड Open now. Instance variable for every object create a one separate copy, right? Which one is created? One separate copy will be created. But a static variable is only for every object create one, one copy, right? A static variable when we load at the time of class loading. Okay, but in the instance variable loading at the time of object creation, right? And unloading at the time of class unloading. Okay, like this one, this one kind of class unloading. And the scope is up to the dot class file level. A static variable will be stored in method area. But instance variable is stored inside the method uh, heap area, correct? So is we can access class name by using instance variable. How we can access inside the static area instance variable using ob but object of that class reference of that class you can access. 
inside the static area. If you non-static area, like you can access directly. Great. Within the same class, it is not required to use class name. But outside of that class, you can use that class name to access static variable. Right? Up to that is clear. So now next one. Next. <laughs> Start JVM. Java test. Start JVM. Create and start main thread JVM and locate it test dot class by main method thread and load test class by name main method static variable creation at the time of class loading execution of main method unload test class static variable destruction and terminate thread and shut down. This is the eight steps happening eight steps we have these only eight steps will execute okay now here you can see we have a static variable in 10 wide domain right test class we created one object using reference is object of test class right so system dot out dot print and t dot i we can access 10 is there test by using class name we can access or we can use directly but this is example of new class sorry not a package class i need to class static variable right main method at, the, at this time i'm not selecting main method that's why main method just write main control shift enter main method discount now declare one static static int i equals to 20 perfect so now here, just as out, not this one, system dot, system dot out dot print island. Here you can access now. We get any error or not? Not any. So we can access. This out. Yes, out is also working with uh, it's not in the eclipse. I think it's working. This out is working here. Yeah, I eat by using static variable class name. Also, you can access so static variable dot i and by using. You can see it's printed or not. Java application, okay. Now here 20 is 20 is printing. Now create object of that class static variable static variable sv equals to new static variable. Now yes, this out. Uh, yes, v dot i perfect. Now, here also you can see 20 is printing three times. Three times 20 is printing. Now, one thing I want to also discuss this is the static area you can access, right? If you non static area, let's see what happens. Uh, public wide. Test static tick variable. Perfect and hit and select all this thing. Control C and Control V. Let's see. It's giving any errors. No, no. 
ಅದು ಪ್ರಿಂಟಿಂಗ್ ನಾ ವೈ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಪ್ರಿಂಟಿಂಗ್ ಎನಿ ಒನ್ ಟೆಲ್ ಎನಿ ಒನ್ ಟೆಲ್ ಸೊ ವೇಟ್ ನೋ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಕಮೆಂಟ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ನೋ ದಿಸ್ ಪೋಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಿಡಿಯೋ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕಮೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಕಮೆಂಟ್ ಬಾಕ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ವೈ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇನ್ ಜಾವಾ ಎವ್ರಿ ಎಕ್ಸಿಕ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ವಿತ್ ಮೇನ್ ಮೆಥಡ್ ರೈಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಎನಿ ಕಾಲಿಂಗ್ ಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಟಿಕ್ ವೆರಿಯೇಬಲ್ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ನೋ ನಾ ಕಾಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮೆಥಡ್ ಫ್ರಾಮ್ ಮೇನ್ ಮೆಥಡ್ then this will execute if any method you can declare in that that uh, java class if you not calling from the main method it won't execute okay so first you can call this method here uh, test this is the static area this is the non static area we can access not sv dot sv dot test static now now let's see now here you can 20 and 20 is 20 if you then so out just for separating for your understanding purpose now here 20 is just 20 is only one copy is shared with that object also and that object also perfect if instant of like here if we have if we have instance variable then for this object one ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಾಪಿ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಾನ್ಸ್ ಕಾಪಿ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಕಾಪಿ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಕಮ್ ಡೌನ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಲಿ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಟಿಕ್ ವೆರಿಯೇಬಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ಡ್ ಟು ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಇನಿಷಿಯಲೈಸೇಷನ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲಿಚ್ ಜೇವಿಂಗ್ ಬಿಲ್ ಆಲ್ ವಿತ್ ಪ್ರೊವೈಡ್ ಡಿಫಾಲ್ಟ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ರೈಟ್ static variable also provide the default value a string is taking a null default value string is null if you want let's see show you here you can take static string s as a default print try to print this also this out mhm this is out default plus plus by using s we can declare this is the static perfect let's see default value is null wait calling this method after this it is print perfect now here second example you can see here both variable we have int this is the instance variable and here this is the static variable and instance variable t dot x t1 dot x t1 dot x what is that t1 dot x equals to 8 8 right t1 dot x 8 8 now t1 dot by equals to 9 9 right and create one t2 test t2 equals to new test t then t2 dot x t2 dot x and t2 dot by what is that value here here you can see t1 t1 is the object x is 10 this is the instance variable instance variable is mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Hmm. One copy is there. So that's why. It will initialize A to it. Only 10 is there. If you T2.x, T2.x. Varied from object to object na? instance. But static is not varied from object to object. Only one copy is shared. Okay, here, here you can see x is 10, x is 10 instance variable. Well, first we create that object. Create that object first t1 and initialize to that value t x. Then x will overwrite. X will overwrite with that. Create one second t2 object t2 dot x. Then now x is 10. Right. Static variable is not varied from object to object, right? This is the point now. Mm -hmm. Not varied from object to object. Such type of variable not is. Instance variable. Value is not varied from object of object object to object not varied object to object right but instance variable is a varied object to object this is the instance variable varied correct this is instance variable x is the value and t create one object and initialize this 8 8 x and by one more object I have created, then I want to print t2 dot x. t2 dot x, it's varied, but not varied now. 10 is printing, but t2 dot by, by is varied. Perfect. Now here you can see that example. Here is the diagram, by is initial. This is the static. First value is 20. Then we initialize that value 20 to 99. So it varied. T1 is varied. X equals to 88. T2 is 10. Static variable also known as class level variable field. Now come down local variable. Local variable. What is that local variable? Yeah. Some time to meet temporary requirement of programmer. We can declare variable inside a method block constructor. Such type of variable are called are called Local variable, automatic variable, well, stack variable, stack variable. Local variable will be stored inside the stack. Where it will stack? Store inside the stack. Now, you can see instance heap, thick, static method area, thick, and local stack, thick. The local variable, now next point is, the local variable will be created as part of block execution inside this declaration. Destroy once the block execution completed. Hence, the scope of local variable is exactly same as the scope of that block is, which is declared. Now here you can see, this is the test class. We have a static variable, a static method. Int, this is the local variable. Here you can see where is declared inside that, inside that method. So this is, scope is only inside the method. 
if you try to access outside of this method, it won't. Okay, in i equals to j, start with j, j plus plus, it will print up to the three. Add to i. J, j is the local variable. If you try to print, then it will give the compile time value. Now give that examples to you. Class local variable. Main method. Main method. Period one int i equals to ten. Okay. Uh, four int j equals to start with the zero up to i less than equals to three two it will print three and i plus plus just perfect then i goes to add that i value with that g then it says out print the sum of array sum of values i and that now let's see what is that output java application that it. now sum is 10 i value is 10 it will print a 10 right perfect j and j plus plus i plus plus right perfect now this 13 is the added 10 1 2 3 3 is j j is added into the i if you access outside of this it will give it and it's good it's up to this so local variable ka isko कहां तक है यहां तक है अगर हम इसको यहां पे एक्सेस करेंगे ना आई को आई विल गिव द एरर और आल्सो इफ यू जे का स्कोप किसके अंदर है जे का स्कोप सिर्फ इस लूप के अंदर तक है अगर हम इस जे ए को एक्सेस करेंगे आउटसाइड ऑफ दिस लूप यहां पे यहां पे अगर हम एसओपी लगाते हैं ना जे देन इट विल गिव कंपाइल टाइम आई विल शो यू शो यू here, 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 this is out. Perfect. Now, check. Giving error, no? Local. Create a value, local variable of J. Cannot resolve. I think it's clear, guys. I think it's clear. So now up to this, we completed three types of variables. First, how many type of variable are there? How many types of variable primitive and primitive and reference variable. And based on the location and declaration, we divided these types in the three types. Uh, first is the instance variable local variable and static variable a static variable at the time of class loading right it's load at the time of class loading instance variable at the time of object creation it will create and it is stored inside instance variable is stored inside the heap area a static variable is stored inside the uh, like method area not method area right and local variable store inside that stack area right 
and uh, it will ex it will uh, local variable uh, create object and uh, initialize at the time of creation of the uh, execution at the time of block execution like construction execution okay perfectly this is that and instance variable <laughs> yes is the static variable about that okay static variable can access from both instance and static area directly we cannot access static variable either by class name or by using referenced but use of class name is recommended what is that class name is recommended so up to this it's clear guys local variable static and this is the integer null point direction cannot find symbol ec here is some point the local variable mm -hmm. the local variable will be stored in stack for the local variable jvm won't provide any default value you should initialize compulsory we should perform initialization explicitly perfect agar hum local variable diya na humne yahan pe if we declare local variable like that it will give a compile time error what is that variable might not have been initialized you can initialize that here this example public static void main int x if arcs dot length is greater than zero arcs dot length agar zero se badi hai zero se badi hai then f equals to 10 and system dot out dot print error but arcs dot length is nothing so it might not have been in a slice perfect as 20 now it won't be why because x is not there if you x not in a slice x equals to 10 <clears throat> create local variable checking okay now initialization put int a right if if a ox dot length greater than zero then a equals to 10 10 right perfect then sys out this out print that way. but a it's won't able to it's giving an error because when we this condition satisfy then argument something huh? but right now is the zeros then else now error will be like operator now see error has gone save it and let me print this 20 will print no? so i think it's clear guys Java test x so now this is the important so it never required to perform initialization of local variable 
लोकल वेरिएबल इन साइड लॉजिकल ब्लॉक बिकॉज देर इज नो गारंटी ऑफ एग्जीक्यूटिंग द ब्लॉक ऑलवेज एट द रन टाइम नॉट गारंटी सो लॉजिकल ब्लॉक इट इज हाईली रिकमेंडेड टू परफॉर्म इनिशियलाइजेशन फॉर द लोकल वेरिएबल एट द टाइम ऑफ डिक्लेरेशन एट लीस्ट विथ डिफॉल्ट वैल्यूज एट लीस्ट विथ डिफॉल्ट वैल्यूज सो दट एग्जाम्पल आई हैव शोन यू this example is not required this example is not required. this is the logical block we have declared right logical block but you should use a default like that public int private int and protected int the static is int x equals to 0 this is the inside the static equal not invalid illegal start what is valid is final transient is not valid volatile is not valid so now some conclusion we have also for static and instance variable it is not required to perform initialization right this is the conclusion jvm will provide the default value both local variable both both default value but for the local variable jvm won't provide any default values compulsory we should perform initialization explicitly before using that variable before using that variable right for every object of separate copy of instance variable will be created separate copy instance variable will be created where as entire class or a single copy of static variable will be created for every thread a separate copy of local variable will be created every thread this is the important instance and static variable can be accessed by multiple thread simultaneously and hence these are not threads but local variable can access by only one thread at a time hence the local variable is thread safe if we are not declaring any modifier explicitly means default modifier but this is rule is applicable only for static and instance variable but not for local right. this is the conclusion is completed guys तो फर्स्ट कंक्लूजन क्या ही निकला अपना इंस्टांस वेरिएबल परफॉर्म दैट इनिशियलाइजेशन एक्सप्लिसिटली नॉट रिक्वायर्ड ओके नॉट रिक्वायर्ड टू परफॉर्म एक्सप्लिसिटली इनिशियलाइजेशन फॉर लो इंस्टांस वेरिएबल एंड स्टैटिक वेरिएबल बट यू शुड टेक केयर टेक केयर अबाउट लोकल वेरिएबल यू शुड इनिशियलाइज दैट एट द टाइम ऑफ डिक्लेरेशन इट्स कंपलसरी okay now second point is separate copy will be created which means instance variable instance variable instance variable uh, is created separate copy for every object right whereas entire class single copy will create for the static variable okay for every thread every thread separate local variable will be local variable will be created local variable will be created hence this is not thread set local uh, static variable and instance variable are not thread set because multiple thread can access but local variable is thread set why because one separate copy will be created at the time of hence local variable are thread set one thread can access if we are not declaring any modifier explicitly then it means default modifier but in the rule if this rule is not applicable for the local so now up to the language fundamentals we cover literals data types literals data date first we Covered data types, then literals, then arrays, then variables.
So next session we will learn an utilization of arrays where we can utilize the arrays. Then we can again revise that arrays concept and variables. So thank you. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, we will meet next video and in the next recording video you can get more clarity about this and we will recap this all these things you can practice this question in the internet also is there thank you if you want this notes so you can just go over facebook page in the video description yeah uh, if you go wait guys here is the page note group is there in this group you can get the note okay so thank you thank you we will meet next session